it's time for thinking of you. Do you like watching the Olympic trials? I've been enjoying watching them on television. A story that caught my eye is about a young woman named Abby Cooper. She ran the 5,000 meter race, and that's about three miles, 3.1 miles, I believe. She ran in a heat to try and qualify for the finals. And in the heat, she did really well. She surpassed the other runners by quite a distance. I believe at the end, it was about a quarter of a lap almost. And she also met the Olympic standard, which is, uh, and she had not done that yet. This is a certain time that, that had to be met to be able to go to the Olympics, but you still have to place in the top three in the 5,000 meter final race. Unfortunately, Abby was not one of the top three runners in the finals race. She will not be going to the Olympics this time. But her story to this point is still very remarkable. You have to know what happened in 2016. And it was at the Olympics in Rio when Abby was there and she was in a race and she had a bad accident. She and another runner got tripped up and, and she fell. Abby limped along to complete the race, but she was very far behind. She ended up injuring her knee and needing to have surgery. She came back from all this to compete this year for Tokyo 2020. I wish that she'd made the Olympics again, but I continue to think about her amazing run in that 5,000 meter heat last week and how she pushed herself to come back for another try at these Olympics. Perhaps she will try for the next Olympics in 2024. Oh, and there's one more thing. Abby said that her running is a calling for her. This makes me think about my calling and your calling. We are called by God to serve and love in Jesus' name. Can we keep it up? Can we keep going when it's hard to do and make a comeback when we meet an obstacle or a problem? Yes, yes, yes. With Abby's example and others who dig deep and keep at it, we can continue to live for Jesus. Today, this Thursday, know that you are in my thoughts, in my heart, and I'm praying for you to be diligent and steadfast in your commitment to live for Christ. You are all a great inspiration to me. Thank you for helping me to serve the Lord as faithfully as I can. Let us pray. Dear God, we appreciate all those who show us the way, and that is to stay focused and to persevere and to keep walking or running with you day in and day out. May we follow their examples and most especially your example, Jesus. In the face of adversity, help us to keep going. We pray in your name, amen. Have a great day.